Hey, welcome back campers. This is Paul here and we are on part 5 of the Red Wing 30cc MXSR build. We're going to be doing the elevators and the servos for the elevators today. Now for elevator servos I have chosen to use the high tech HS5685 metal digital super torque servos. Now I've already installed one of these very nice carbon fiber arms that is supplied with the kit onto one of these servos. And as you can see I simply installed it onto the regular white wheel with these two socket head cap screws and it's very securely on there. So the next thing we're going to do is put our extension this is an 18 inch extension and we're going to put it on here there you have that now that has a chance of coming open due to vibration or a hundred other reasons and there are many many ways to lock it you can buy locking servo clips. You can put a piece of uh, dental floss or thread between the wires, or you can get a piece of duct tape. A little bit of duct tape wrapped around it, and it's not going to come undone. It's a very simple, low cost technique. So, next. We need to find the hole. There are many ways for finding the hole. I prefer to just feel for it. And there it is, right there. So, to open up the hole, I am simply going to use a disposable razor knife. Once again, find the hole. And what I like to do is simply cut an X pattern through the covering and then fold the covering back into the hole. That way we don't have to worry about covering peeling off on the edges the servo itself will hold it down. So I'm going to install the servo into this hole and then we'll come back for the next part. Alright, so there we have the servo installed on the left side of the aircraft. Next we'll do it the same thing on the right side of the aircraft. Alright, as you can see here, both of the servos are mounted. There's the right side. There's the left side, look down from the top we can see them both. So our next step is I've routed the cables on each side through these nice little holes and we're going to plug them into our receiver and get everything set up. So we'll be back in one minute. Alright we've got them plugged in here you can see that the right elevator is plugged into the elevator slot and the left elevator is plugged into aux 2. Now this is strictly for the spectrum and if you look here you can see my settings on the DX8. I had to reverse one of them so that they function together. Let's go over here and take a look and you can see that when I do the elevator they are both back for pull up, push down, they're both forward. So the next step we're going to install the elevators and we'll be back to do that in just a minute. Okay, in preparation for putting our horizontal stab and elevator on, I went ahead and opened up the holes. There is a hole here for the carbon fiber rod. There's a hole here for the locating pin and two holes here 
for the retention screws. Now if we go ahead and look, you can see how this all goes together. And that locks everything in place. So I'm going to open up the holes on the other side and then we'll put it together. All right, folks, we're getting ready to install the elevator. So you first you're going to need these two small socket head screws and the carbon fiber rod. Let's get ready and put this all together. Okay, folks, so I have slipped the carbon fiber rod into the guide hole. That goes into the tube in the fuselage. The locating pin holds it in place. Now I'm going to get my two little socket head cap screws. And insert them into the holes. And tighten them down. with your favorite ball driver. I'm not going to make you watch me tighten them up. But that's the idea. And that's it for this part. We'll be back to hook up the linkages in the next part. Thanks for watching.